Hey guys, good morning. It is Vlogmas day 18. So, yeah, I am not doing that much today. I'm having more of a chill day at home, relaxing. Um, catching up on like my shows and stuff here. The kids are still sleeping. They were up late. So, they are sleeping. Still. Ooh. Sorry, they are really enjoying their Christmas vacation so far. <laughs> Because they've been going to bed late and waking up late, so they 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 enjoying themselves. Hey guys, so I didn't end up doing anything today. As you can see, we just stayed home, had a relaxing day. The kids then woke up like maybe two two hours ago. They just woke up from um, sleeping in all day, so they seem to be really enjoying their. Christmas vacation so far. I just wanted to come on and say guys, I am just feeling so blessed. Um, the blessings that I've gotten this year has just been amazing. We are at the end of the year pretty much and yeah, I am just so grateful just for the things that God has put in place, put into my life, the blessings that I've received, my family, like it's just been a great year even though there's was some ups and there's some downs in in within the year but I just want to say I am blessed and I, I am just grateful but right now I am just actually cooking so I will just show you guys what I am making for dinner I'm not doing that my, uh, vegetables and stuff cut up there and I have my chicken here I'm making a whole chicken tonight so I'm just actually just have this washed in vinegar and water so i am going to finish scrubbing this bad boy and then get it over here in my pan i will talk with you guys so yeah what have you guys been grateful for this year like all i can say god has blessed me and my husband and my kids abundantly this year I'm, I am just grateful for every little opportunity that has come into my life. I am grateful for. Right? I've, this year has been like a crazy. Last year, this time, I was getting ready for... Oh, for those who don't know, me and my husband has been in a long-distance relationship for the last four years. Um... Yeah, so we've been in an LDR relationship and last year this time I was preparing myself for my husband's arrival to come to Canada and so far we've had an amazing year. A year. I've brought him a, a couple of places. He came in the most coldest time. We've broken the record in what, how many years? <laughs> Since 1960 something he came on one of the coldest day in Canada when we had winter last year. So that was a real eye-opener for him but at the end of the day he was still happy that he was here with me and his family um you know he was still happy that he was able to be here because boy being in an ldr relationship it is not easy but you know what as long as you two have a very open communication there's trust you guys trust each other there's honesty like you know there's that loyalty between one one another then nothing no matter what nobody can't come in between you guys you know you just gotta know that you guys it's something that you guys want and you know what your goal is and what you guys are striving to get you know and you just do the thing and you guys lean on each other for support even when you have family members that don't support you which it can make it hard but then at the end of the day it doesn't really matter because as long as you two support each other, that's the main thing, right? To achieve what you guys want in life. And I was grateful. He was supportive. I was supportive. We made sure we kept in contact and we were there for each other through every step of the way. And we just learned never to give up and we don't give up so easy. And that's the thing that you find in most relationships nowadays. People just want to throw in the towel and nobody wants to try and make things work people just want to give up easy because they rather take the easy route no sir they rather take the easy route but yeah 
I can tell you we had our ups and downs, but we made it work and we stuck through it. And look where we are now today. Like I am blessed to say that he is here. He landed himself into a great job, right? With great benefits that's paying him well. And you know, the, a lot of people, they do come from like a different country, like an island and stuff. And they do struggle when they come here at first. But you know what they say what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and if you want good you know have to run so sometimes you have to go through the struggles of life to make things i don't think that you when you come to a, a country uh, like canada or america everything is just going to be handed to you you're going to have to work twice as hard as other people that were here just to get what you need to um to get and be where you need to be right don't think that everything that you see on tv is how it is in these country because trust me it is not right first of all you have like an accent you may have speak a different language things will be hard right and at first sometimes there's always just that one income that's coming in but as long as you you have a supportive partner and that person is there with you through thick and thin you and that person can definitely make things work you just got to know what your, your guys' goal is and keep focused. Keep a focused head. Focus. And you guys just motivate each other. Motivate each other. From day one when I met my husband, me and him, we knew what our goal, our end goal was and what our result was and where we wanted to be. And I set a time frame for myself saying that, okay, this amount of time, I want you here by this. And I just went after it, you know. So that's also something and when you if you are in an LDR relationship guys make sure that you sit down and have that talk know where you two are heading and make sure you two are on the same page because the worst thing is that when one person is on a different page from the other person it makes things even that much difficult it makes things that much harder right so yeah i just wanted to come and do that little spiel for you guys um if any if any of you guys would like to know more about our ldr and our process and all that stuff uh you can shoot me a message below um or you can hit me up on snap which is more private if you wanted to go that route and yeah i will be more than willing to sit and talk to you guys but I finished seasoning up my chicken, so I'm gonna actually stick it in the oven. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm just gonna put on some rice and probably make some sidekick along. And then I'm gonna um, wash with some water and stuff, and I just have my chicken seasoned, so I'm gonna put that in the oven now. So I'm just gonna put my chicken in the oven now, guys. Oh my goodness. To let that cook. I'm cooking it. See, your face knows you're cooking it. It's not delicious. <laughs> I don't mind my hair guys it's one of them lazy days lazy days lazy days as you can see my brother even is all even a bright ass color but that's okay that's okay that is okay so yeah the kids them are just hanging out they're playing video games and whoever's playing with toys playing with toys my husband's still sleeping because he works at night he's on a night shift for right now so yeah I'm just putting on Dinner. What am I looking for? I'm looking for some vegetables. I'll get that later. So I'll put my chicken on. So to let that bad boy start cooking, start dinner early, get it out the way. So then, yeah, we have more time. My chicken's the over there, hanging out, playing. What are you playing, Memphis? Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite. Oh my, my goodness! <laughs> I almost tripped. So, and this one here is playing. I don't know what she's playing. She's there playing on his phone. Okay, you're over in the corner on the couch. Here with my spot. Just going over some things. Making some, writing, jotting down some notes for the New Year's. I like to, to actually keep a list of things and jot down some ideas when they come to me. So, yeah. So, I'm just here. Um, let me know, guys, if you would like us to do a video on the uh on the process of um how i sent for my husband um we i didn't use no lawyers or anything like that i didn't use an immigration specialist or anything like that i just literally got the papers them 
filled them out myself and I did my research and got it done but um, I would only do a video if you guys if that's something that you guys would like to see um, and I can for I could sit down and explain it but yeah so let me know if you guys want to see that video so yeah I'm just gonna get back to doing what I'm doing and I will check in back with you guys in a bit right, so I am just back I got my rice on so got my rice on I got my corn on I am making got my milk on with water and salt and I will to put some butter and I'm making some sidekick with this so and the chicken is cooking it's almost finished so that is cooking right now so I'm just getting some butter to actually put put in for the sidekick so I'm just gonna put those in so I'll put two package so I'm putting two of the same package in these are so good the cream creamy garlic alfredo ones so yeah I'm just putting that on and a little bit of update on the cooking cooking in the kitchen that's pretty much it i got my rice is pretty much finished i just put it down to finish up and i put in my sidekick here so that is on its way cooking and yeah my corn is just boiling pretty much finished dinner the only thing i have left finish is... that's all done rice is finished and my corn is finished so i'm just actually just waiting on my chicken to finish it's still in there sizzling I'm away to go wake up hubby now because it's time for him to get up so let me go wake him up hey wakey wakey Time to get up. Hey, sunshine. Are you waking up? Are you waking up? Time to get up. I'm turning on the light. Yeah. You can't tell me that. Time to get up. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. Get up. You're going to be late for work. Okay. Babes, mm -hmm. it's seven. You got to get up. You're going to be late for work. Oh, dear man. Are you going to say hello to everybody? <laughs> what do you mean, come out of the room? Get up! <laughs> eh? Give me a thing, thing. What do you mean? It's time to get up. You're asleep all too already. What do you mean from your sleep or from your... From I got up 11 o'clock this morning, I have not been back to bed. And what time? What time I got to bed? Eh? Where me miss you gone by? No. I stayed up all night waiting for you to come home. When you come in, yeah? You go drop asleep. Me drop asleep. When you come in, me get up and make your breakfast. But me didn't give up asleep. But I will tell you to stay up and watch Netflix when you're supposed to go go and get your ass. That is not my fault. You're the one that says, babe, turn on the TV, let me get some light to drink my tea and eat my breakfast. Right? And then after that, me see your click pan show, which I thought you would have been going to sleep. So I know me thought, get up. You had more than how much hours of sleep, mm. right? And more than nine hours you get to sleep. And technically, eight hours sleep is what is recommended. Hoover. What do you mean, Hoover? Get up. A time for wake up. <laughs> Come on, Biabs. Wait a minute, what about my life? When I had to get good, I get a I do I will run yeah, by you. Know, <laughs> so, wait a minute, how much o'clock? What time is it? It's 5.30. The regular time when I wake you up. A time to get up. Time to get up. Video what? The video what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are so disgusting. Look what you do. What, what did I do? <laughs> you know, so you're disgusting. Babes, can I get up? Look, me, me bring you the paper. Oh, don't bite me. I know. <laughs> I brought you the paper. I say, you say good morning to everybody. <laughs> it's your morning. Eh? 
It's morning. Where is it? When you wake up, all the man came and fixed the um the kitchen cupboard and everything. Well, because his bloody walls are thin. That's why you need to move. What do you mean that's why you can't sleep? Your face fever, that's why you can't sleep. It's time to get up. Yes. Babes. Then I'm pretty much ready. Me just to wait for the chicken to cook. What do you mean I want no dinner? Your face, we have about you know hungry. You're going to eat. It's too early. It's too early, a box foot. Eh? You're going. <laughs> You're going. Yeah, uh, Miss, we bring you the paper. What paper? The newspaper. Mm -mm. We bring you the paper so I can look at it. I don't want to look at it. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to do Christmas shopping. Boxing day shopping. A uh, boxing day shopping. <laughs> shopping time. Mm. Say good morning. Look, guys, he's rubbing the sleep out of his eye. You're not waking up. Here we go. You're not getting up. Bam! You know, something like that people plug me nose. <laughs> like, worse if you feel like I'm so cool. Hurry up! Why you keep talking? <laughs> Look, if you make me a drool. Come here, move when you're a car. What? You say you're talking? Hey, you make it this one. Me, oh, I make a birthday. Where me want me come in here for? Oh, I should I let you sleep and sleep past the thing and not go to work on time? You know, one of these days you go bite me and I'm going to bite your back. You bite me back? My back yeah. bite me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so if you bite your back, then I'm going to bite you. What do you think this is? But, yeah, guys, we will tune back in. We're about to go eat, <laughs> eat dinner. Say, are you gonna say hi to everyone? Gonna wake up, Wait a minute, you wake up. Your yeah, eyes are open. Uh -uh. Usually, when people don't wake up, they don't talk. Yeah, what? Hmm? Yeah. Does he look tired to you? Doesn't he look well rested to you guys? Now tell me. He yeah. looks well oh, rested to me. Make sure you don't do it, you know. You want me to do what? Put you up? I go put it back side. <laughs> <laughs> I go put it up. So, this oh. is all done. And actually, just dishing out some food. So, and I will show you what it looks like. Let me just get some gravy for my husband's plate. I will show you guys what it looks like. This is what dinner looks like. This is my husband's dinner. Bringing him his dinner. I was talking about he wasn't hungry. Love, 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 love. Here you go, love. Good night. You're hungry. What do you mean you're not hungry? Eat the food. What? Eat the food, but you're not hungry. Yeah, guys, I am about to eat dinner. I know. Sorry for the hair. I am a hot mess today. But it's kind of like a lazy day. I'm going to end this vlog here. We're about to have dinner. So I will talk to you guys. Tomorrow in Vlogmas Day 19. Oh my goodness. How many days is left till Christmas? Bye guys. Hey guys, good morning. And welcome back to Vlogmas Day 17, baby. Vlog 17. I hope you are all having a good start to your Monday morning so far. Oh, so far, I'm having a great start. I don't know, even though I didn't get that much sleep. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys good morning. Me and my daughter are just gonna go out and run some errands. I'm 